One of my favorite places to be is in the kitchen at Christopher's World Grill. And today we look at an item that you've probably seen on some of the finer restaurant menus you've been to, and that is the Crepe Suzette. Crepe Suzette. Now this is a very classic dish. Goes back a long time. Let me start with the basic uh, crepe uh, batter. Now crepe batter is much different from pancake batter because it's, it's very, very thin. So let me just uh, show you here. We've got some milk and eggs. We do all this in a blender, so it's pretty easy. Some flour and a little bit of salt. Okay, and then some clarified butter, some melted clarified butter right in there. We're just going to blend that up. Now, normally we could uh, strain that through a sieve, and you can see how different this is. A lot of people think it's just pancake batter. But you can see that that is not pancake batter. That is very, very thin. Now, I've, got, I've not got any oil in my pan or anything like that. The, uh, the batter has enough fat in it already. And on a warm pan, now I'm just using a good Teflon pan. It's got to be a non-stick pan. And I'm just going to roll this around in there and fill in the gaps. I'm going to add a little bit more here. OK. And I'm just going to roll that around a little bit. Basically get color on one side and not on the other. All right, let's just check to see if that. So we got some good color there. My pan is probably a little bit hot there. We'll take that, flip it over just for a second. Now that one has too much color. I don't like that much color on it. But that'll be fine there. You just have to barely turn them over just for a second and then you're out. Okay? First of this, we're going to start with a little bit of um, butter. Butter and sugar. I've got a little brown sugar here. You can, some recipes call just for plain sugar. I like a little brown sugar. Just want to let that caramelize a little bit. Got a little fresh squeezed orange juice here. Got a little, little lemon juice here. I'm going to go ahead and um, add a little bit of orange liqueur. This is Cointreau. Okay. And a uh, touch of brandy. Give that a good flame. It's a nice blue flame there. Just throw your crepe in the sauce, fold it over once and then twice, and then straight on the plate. So make a little triangle there. Let's do another one here. There, fold it over once, then twice, and then right on the plate here. Okay, let's do three of them. Mike looks hungry this morning. There's a nice looking one. One, fold it over once, then twice, then boom, right on the plate. And now we're gonna take this sauce Add some orange segments, a little bit of orange zest, and a little bit more butter to finish that off, make it nice and rich. Okay, now we're going to take that sauce and just put it right over the top there. A couple of orange segments, a little bit of that sauce. Got a little butter in there. Boy, that's all good right there, I'll tell you that much. It's got a little fresh uh, whipped cream on there. Put a little bit more orange zest. Mike, I'm going to let you dig into that while it's still warm. All right. We'll get some get of the some, Definitely get some of that whipped cream, too. All right, a little bit of this, a little orange. Perfect bite. Isn't that a good bite? And a little zest mixed in there too, yeah. as you called it. Oh my goodness. Now that is, that's a fun one. We don't do a lot of. Oh no, that is really good. Isn't that fun? This will not last with our crew here any time at all, I can assure you. Now, and Mike, how long did it really take, real time, to go from sauce to, on, to the plate okay. is minutes. That's why it's a table side preparation works great. So we, we added this down, obviously, to avoid the whole cooking time, but what, five to seven minutes? At the most. Once yeah. So exactly. the crepes are, take the longest part, do those two weeks in advance, put them in the freezer, right. and then make these table side while you'd impress some people. But be safe like me, do it in the back and then bring it out. All right, now the easy thing to do would be to go and access the recipe. Now, Christopher, in this redesign of the KBTX website, we thought enough of you to give you your own tab on the website. You got your own little icon, just push on Christopher's Kitchen. You don't have to go to any links, and all the recipes will pop up there. This is the Crepe Suzette, our recipe of the day. It's available online at kbtx.com. Until next time, thank you for making us a part of your morning. For Christopher's Kitchen, I'm Mike Wright.